Hello friends, in this given video, we are going to discuss and learn how to convert a given transfer function into state space model that is in parallel form. Let us now consider a given example y of s upon u of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 1 s plus 2 and I need to convert this exam problem in parallel form. It's a typical exam problem and it is going to clear the whole concept of converting the given transfer function into parallel form. Now before we proceed for the parallel form, let us first learn a short trick that is whenever we say a parallel form, it actually means a partial fraction. Okay, now how to solve the problem? Step number one. The problem was y of s upon u of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 1 common s plus 2. That is equal to, let us say, a upon s plus 1 plus b upon s plus 2. So now, if I want to find out a, a is equal to s plus 1, the whole common, common with what condition 1 upon s plus 1 into s plus 2 for what value of s for s is equal to minus 1 term get cancelled out a value is equal to 1 upon minus 1 plus 2 is 1 so a is equal to 1 b is equal to s plus 2 the whole common common with what condition 1 upon s plus 1 and s plus 2 for what value of s s is equal to minus 2 so matching term gets cancelled out when i substitute 2 it becomes 1 upon minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so b value is equal to minus 1 so now the equation becomes y of s upon u of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 2. This completes step number 1. Now let us go for step number 2. Step number 2 is y of s. Now what you do? Transfer u of s on the RHS. That is equal to it becomes 1 upon s plus 1 the whole common into u of s minus 1 upon s plus 2 the whole common into u of s. Please note the step in which I am writing the equations. Now what am I going to do? I am going to consider the first expression as x1 of s and the second expression as x2 of s. So the y of s expression becomes so the y of s expression becomes y of s is equal to x1 of s minus x2 of s. If I take its inverse Laplace transform, I am going to get y is equal to x1 minus x2. Important equation. Now, let us consider about x1 of s and x2 of s. So, x1 of s is given as 1 upon s plus 1. Please make a note, it is not 1 upon s plus 1, it is u of s upon s plus 1. So, x1 of s is equal to u of s upon s plus 1. Cross multiply, you will get x1 of s, the whole common with s plus 1 is equal to u of s. Expand s into x1 of s plus x1 of s is equal to u of s. A corresponding inverse Laplace transform, it becomes x1 dot plus x1 is equal to u and if I write it in x1 dot equal to format, it becomes x1 dot is equal to minus of x1 plus u. Mark this example a very important equation. 
Now let us concentrate on x2 of s. x2 of s is equal to u of s upon s plus 2. Same equations, same steps. That is cross multiply. You will get x2 of s is equal to. Now what? Cross multiply, you will get as x2 of s, the whole common with s plus 2 that is equal to u of s. So expand s into x2 of s plus 2 into x2 of s is equal to u of s. If I take corresponding inverse Laplace transform, it becomes x2 dot plus 2x2 is equal to u. And if I write in the proper format, it becomes x2 dot is equal to minus 2x2 plus u. Most important expression. Now, let us summarize the three expressions that we have considered. First expression, x1 dot is equal to minus x1 plus u. Second expression, x2 dot is equal to minus 2x2 plus u. Third expression, y is equal to x1 minus x2. So if I want to convert it, this expression in the matrix format, it becomes x1 dot is equal to minus 1, 0, common with x1, x2, plus 1 into u. If I want to convert this expression into matrix format, it becomes x2 dot is equal to 0, 2, x1, x2, plus 1 into u. And the last y is equal to x1 minus x1 common with x1, x2. Now, if I combine x1 dot, x2 dot and y together, the expression will be as follows. x1 dot, x2 dot, the whole thing common is equal to matrix into x1, x2 plus matrix into u y is equal to matrix into x1 x2 so x1 dot is minus 1 times x1 0 times x2 and 1 times u x2 dot is 0 times x1 minus 2 times x2 and 1 times u y is equal to 1 times x1 and minus 1 times x2 this completes the entire conversion of a given transfer function into parallel state space model. So summary, y of s upon u of s is equal to 1 upon s plus 1 common with s plus 2 can be converted into x dot is equal to minus 1, 1, 0, minus 2 into x plus 1, 1 into u and y is equal to 1 minus 1 into x. This completes the entire problem. Thank you so much for watching the video.